And that's why today I'd like to announce uh, the Google Glass Explorer Edition. The devices that we used were Google Glass prototypes and has a display so I can see visual information right now, images, uh, video. It has a camera to capture uh, picture and video also. It has a processor, a pretty powerful processor to process information and a lot of memory to store information. In order to interact with this device, we have a touchpad on the side. Uh, we also have a little button here, so I'd like to take a picture of you right now, which I just did. We have a microphone, so we can collect audio information. We also have a small speaker, so I can receive audio information. The device also has a number of sensors. So we have gyroscopes, accelerometers, and compass. So it's aware of its location with respect to my body, and is also aware of its location in the broader uh, physical world. And lastly, and very importantly, it has multiple radios for data communication. So we created Glass so that you can interact with the virtual world without distracting you from the real world. And one clear example of this is that we decided to actually position the display above your eye. And Glass as a whole is designed to be close to your senses but not blocking them. And this picture shows so clearly how we don't want technology to get in the way. The baby looks into the mom's eyes, they connect, and while doing that, she can capture this beautiful moment without any distractions. And whether it's with family or friends, we want to empower people to use technology naturally. I'm sure many of you in the audience, like myself, are uh, parents, and many, many times you've asked and wished that, oh, I wish I had a camera with me right now to capture this unique moment with my family. When you have glass, you can actually capture those moments and have those memories forever recorded for you. This is pretty important, actually.